Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Analytics to track chat widget activity on your high-level website. Let's dive right in. Now we all know and love the chat widget, which we can find under sites and chat widget within our sub accounts. Now, whenever we are installing these chat widgets, we have two options. We can either add them as a chat widget under our website. For example, if we go ahead and go to websites, then we can select a random website and go to settings. This is where we can throw in that chat widget and just select it from there. So we can either do that or we can paste in code into the header tracking code. So in order to do that, we can go to the chat widget, click the three dots, and this is where we are going to be getting code. Now this is important because if you want the chat widget to be tracked inside your Google Analytics, you need to use the right set of tracking code rather than just adding it to your website like we just did before. Instead, we're going to click get code in the top right hand side whenever we're editing our chat widget. And then we're actually going to click via GTM. Now GTM is the Google Tag Manager. It's one of Google's data analysis tools that allows us to actually sync the analytics between the chat widget and Google. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this section of code by clicking copy and then going over to our website. Then we can either paste this code in head tracking code right here within website settings or in funnel settings, or we can actually add this code in when we're editing the page by in the top left hand side for either websites or funnels, clicking tracking code and then pasting it in header tracking. Now, once we do that and click save, then our chat widget code will be on the website. We'll be able to use the chat widget just as normally, but by using that GTM code, it's going to actually be useful with Google Analytics. Now, the actual pieces of information that are tracked using the chat widget in Google Analytics are as follows. One, when the chat widget is opened, it will be tracked as a page view. Two, we will track whenever the pop-up greeting is closed. Three, we'll obviously check whenever the chat widget is opened or closed, whether it is a SMS or a live chat. And it will track as a form submit whenever people submit the actual form within the chat widget if it is set up that way rather than live chat. Using Google Analytics, it'll also track message clicks and validation errors. And finally, just keep in mind any of the analytics that are tracked via this are completely independent and they will not impact other GA4 tracking indicators. So if you have any questions about enabling this, feel free to refer to the help doc or open up a support ticket. But I hope you found this helpful and always thank you for watching.